there. So I wanted to share with you my Iowa vacation haul. We did some shopping when we were on our trip to visit my family in Des Moines. There are some great malls there and then independent stores as well. I uh, just wanted to give a little bit of an idea of what is available. Uh, they have the Valley West Mall. They have the Jordan Creek Mall. There's the Merle Hay Mall, which we did not go to this time. There's the East Village, which is a really great downtown shopping area. There's some independent stores down there. Um, anyway, I just wanted to show you, I didn't get to every place that I like this time, but I wanted to show you what I was able to pick up. So I'm gonna go through the clothing items first, and then at the end, I have the beauty products that I got. So uh, one of my favorite stores to go to and definitely my husband's favorite store is Shields. It's a sporting goods store. So this is a really crinkly bag from Shields. So I'm gonna lose this bag really quickly here but show you what I picked up. And my husband got some things too but I'm just gonna show you what I picked up for me. Now I want to warn you ahead of time, this is going to be very painful for you cyclones out there. And you know who I'm talking about if you're from Iowa. So just, you've been warned. Here it is. I got some Hawkeye gear. My other shirts that I bought last time were really soft and comfy, but when I got home and washed them, they shrunk into children's size clothing. So it is no longer appropriate for me to wear the shirts I bought last time out into public because they are now crop tops. So I picked up my Hawkeye shirt so I can wear this just around the house or to sleep in or something like that. So it's really comfy. And then I got another really cute one that I'm looking forward to wearing. Another Hawkeyes t-shirt. This is also really, really super soft and comfy. So I'm looking forward to wearing that. And my husband got a couple of those too. So um, let's see then. We went to American Eagle, which um, of course we do have available here, but we had both purchased a pair of jeans before we went and they only had one of each of our sizes. So we thought we'd take the opportunity when we were another American Eagle out of state to see if we could find those same jeans in different sizes. So we did that. Um, well, let me show you those first. So these are the, I always get these confused. These are the skinny jeans. I always get skinnies and jeggings confused, but these are just the regular skinny jeans. So I got a pair of those. I'll be wearing those this fall a lot with flats and things. And then they have these cute little shirts that are on sale. And I think this was on sale for like 10 bucks. It's just like this little peach kind of I don't know, almost like a little watercolor shirt or something, but just really comfy. I like to have things like this, just you know, go to the grocery store or hang out around the house. So I thought for 10 bucks, that was a really cute little top. So I had a bunch of those. And now I will get into the beauty portion of the program. I didn't bring all the bags back home with me from things I had purchased because it was just too much for the luggage and I left those for my mom to reuse or recycle. So um, the only bag I have is from Yonkers. I stopped at the Bobby Brown counter there, so I will show you what I picked up from there first. So I got one of the Bobby Brown eyeshadow singles. I had actually went in there hoping to see the new um, single eyeshadows, and they only had, I think, like six of the new line. Sarah, or sorry, my kitty cat's getting into my bag. Put that away. I don't know. Um, so anyway, I stopped in to see the new eyeshadow singles. They only had about six, and I think there's 24 new shades. So I wasn't any of the ones that I really had in mind, so I didn't end up getting those. But I did get a classic that I've been wanting for a long time, and this is the matte eyeshadow in Heather. It looks like this. It's sort of a um, purpley gray color. Let me see if I can swatch this for you. I just, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I think Bobbi Brown does mattes better than anyone else. So it looks like this. I'm really looking forward to using it. I think it'll be a beautiful color going into fall, looking um, to use this as an all over the lid color. So I'm really excited to finally have that in my collection. And then this is just sort of a staple product for me. I needed a new uh, long wear gel eyeliner. I picked it up in espresso ink. I have caviar ink also that I wear quite often, but this is the espresso ink color. And as you would imagine, whoops, it is just a dark brown espresso color. Really good for everyday lining the eyes, so I love those. And then um, at Von Maurer, I was able to stop by the Chanel counter. I had a couple lipsticks of mine. I've been here in Florida. I don't like to order lipsticks in the summertime because, you know, 
after they sit on the truck, delivery truck, or in the mail truck, or in the warehouse, and everything else, I never know what condition they're gonna arrive to me in. So I prefer if I can see them in person and just get them during these months. Um, so I hadn't really purchased much lipstick, I think, maybe any lipstick this summer. So I was really looking forward to seeing a couple things. There was a really lovely girl at the Chanel counter who helped me out. And I picked up a Rouge Coco Chanel, Rouge, easy for me to say, Rouge Coco Shine in Saga, number 79. This looks like this. I always get all these um, Chanel lipsticks confused, the Rouge Coco Shines and all the other ones but it looks like this. It's a really pretty kind of bright pink color. And we'll swatch it here for you. I really wanted something kind of brighter pink. I kind of wish I would have gotten it earlier in the season, but that's okay. I really hope this shows up. Might be a little off in this lighting. It's a little too much, but anyway. And then the next Chanel item I got was another Rouge Coco Shine. This is in Secret or Secret. As she said, I'm not very good at saying that. And this is number 85. Now we did discover when I was purchasing this, there are two named secrets. So the first one that she gave me was not the color I was looking for. So just keep that in mind if this is something that you're interested in. This is again, the Rouge Coco Shine number 85. And this is just a really pretty light, neutral sort of, I'd say beigey pink. I'll swatch that here. It's just gonna be a really light wash of color just to pop on when you just want a little bit of something that's really light right there. And I saw this on another YouTuber um, and she looked beautiful in it. I think it would be really great over the top of a lip liner. I'm not sure it's gonna work on its own, but I had a couple lip liners in mind I think this would pair really well with. Then I went to Sephora at Jordan Creek Mall and I always get them confused what stores or which mall because there's so many. Um, and I picked up one of the new Urban Decay Revolution lipsticks. Packaging looks like this. There are so many cool ones to choose from and I actually looked on those um, online ahead of time trying to get an idea of what I was gonna be looking for. But it turns out some of the shades that I had in mind are exclusive to the Urban Decay website for now. So um, Sephora has their own range of shades. I think there's probably some overlap with those, but. The one that I ended up going with is called Rush, and I don't think this has a number. It's just called Rush. But the new packaging is really cool, so I like that. And it looks like this, kind of a mauve pink. I really like it a lot. I don't have anything really like this right now. And the formulation of these is just so cool. They're supposed to be creamy and long-wearing, so I'm really looking forward to trying that. I actually got my mom to go back and she picked up one of these also. So we're both gonna try them out and see how they go. Um, if, if this works out and I like it, there are several more shades that I really wanted. I just didn't wanna get them all at one time, not knowing how this formula was gonna be. I think it was Naked 2, looks really nice. Fiend looks really nice. Um, I tend to always stay in sort of the neutral pink zone. So anyway, really looking forward to using that. And then the other place that we stopped was Walgreens. And again, we have those here, but we needed to stop for a couple other things. So of course I migrated over to the beauty department and strolled through there. And I picked up just one of my Jordana mascaras, the best slash extreme. I wanted to pick one of those to have. Um, and if you saw my Jordana video on the new best volume extreme and best length extreme, I did see that they had those there. Now they only had like one of each of those in the display, but their display was the newer one as well. So if you're in the Des Moines area, you're interested in the Jordana mascara, check out your local Walgreens because I did see at this particular one that they did have the new display. So um, anyway, but I still went with the best lash because as I mentioned in my video, this one is still my favorite. And then um, this was a recommendation from another YouTuber, Marnie Ms. Gold Girl. She talked about how much she loved the Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells. And I really wanted to pick this up. So um, let's see if I can get this open. I may not be able to. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna make you guys wait and mess with this. I should have opened it ahead of time. But you can see it's just a really pretty neutral palette. It's got a brow bone highlight shade here, a really beautiful crease shade, and then a lid shade. 
This is such a great neutral palette for almost anyone. I think anyone can really wear this, especially more fair skin tones. It's just a beautiful everyday neutral and it's $2.99. So you can't really go wrong with that. And the last beauty item I bought was a nail polish at Walgreens also. I had actually just put this up on my blog as my wish list item for fall. It is Essie Angora Cardi. It's really such a pretty color. And I wasn't planning on buying this, but when I went to Walgreens, they had a sign and it wasn't really like an advertised sale, but it was just a sign they had posted that said, see the cosmetics counter for $2 off any Essie nail polish. So I felt like it was a sign. <laughs> it, was, it was really a sign um, that I should get it. So I picked that up while we were there and I'm looking forward to using that as one of my fall colors. I just think it's gorgeous. And then the last couple of items I picked up, I am ashamed, but that's what these hauls are about. I'm just gonna be honest and tell you, I bought a couple bags. I need another bag, like a hole in the head, but I've mentioned before, I have an issue with bags. I love bags, it's weird whatever. And to make matters worse, these came from an airport store because I was strolling through. We had some time to kill before our flight home. And I saw these bags. They had originally been $10 each and they were marked down to $4.99 each. So I couldn't resist because I can't help myself and I'm in desperate need of a bag sponsor apparently. So this is the first one I picked up. I couldn't decide between the two colors. So I hope you can see this. It's just a little tote bag. It's nothing serious. It's just, they probably um, sell these for people who legitimately need more space on their way home, which I did not. But anyway, it's just a nice floppy bag. I like these because you can fold them up and pack them in your suitcase or wherever. I can use this for groceries on a day-to-day -day basis or just a variety of things. At least that's how I've justified it to myself. And then I picked one up in pink. Looks like this. Let me back up a little bit. These are such big bags. They're really good size too. So anyway, this one is black. It almost looked navy in the store, but this is black and this is pink and I like them both. So I figured for five bucks each, I would just lose my mind and get them both. So anyway, that's it. That is everything I purchased on my Iowa vacation. I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're interested in seeing the vlogs, from our vacation. I'm going to be posting those on LaVita Vlog, my vlog channel. I already posted part one, visiting my grandparents out at their farm, and um, just a couple little things from the first day that we arrived. I actually lost an entire day of filming on, uh, on my camera. I'm really upset about it. We went to the Flying Mango in Des Moines, which is a wonderful, wonderful barbecue restaurant with like a Caribbean flair. It's awesome. I'm just sick about losing all of that. So, but nevertheless, I also lost, that was our shopping day where I picked up all of these items. So I lost that as well. But I do have our final day there where we did, went downtown Des Moines 8. I'll show you those places. So anyway, um, thank you so much again for watching and I hope to see you very soon. Bye-bye.